Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com. I'm here next to, let me, guys, help help me to pronounce the name because I, Kino? Kino. 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 Kano, the Norwegian representatives of this year's Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> First of all, guys, Melody Festival and Tomorrow Ahead. How do you feel being here in Sweden after you won last week here in Norway? It's really cool. It's actually the first thing we do as the winners of Melody Grand Prix. Uh, we're here in Sweden to perform our song tonight and uh, meet. we met uh, Jon Henrik okay. earlier today to wish him best of luck tomorrow. And yeah, we're just very happy to be here. I imagine it should be like kind of a blast after winning the, the Norwegian selection. How did you feel back in, 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 the, in the night? How was it? Because it was kind of a roller coaster of emotions, I guess. I think you could uh, just like see from the uh, from how Fred reacted, uh, how, how we, the reaction how was we, epic. Actually. How, how we felt when it, when it was like like a loose dog on stage after we won. So I, and I think that that what we, what we felt as well. This is a dream come true from all of us, uh, yeah. for all of us, and yeah, we're. Totally underdogs back then and now as well. So we're here in Sweden to learn of uh, from, the, from the from the masters of the craft. Okay. <laughs> well, how do you think the competition is growing in, in Norway? Because after several years, we have seen that the semifinals were dropped. Now it's only one night. Different genders and styles of music in, in competing for uh, the, the title to represent Norway. How do you see the overall thing? I think it's cool that we have like ten different songs, maybe in different genres, um, and. Uh, yeah, it makes, of course, makes the competition a bit <laughs> easier for the 10 uh, competitors. Uh, but yeah, I think it's just an amazing night. I love how NRK has done it. And uh, just uh, for some musicians to be a part of that show, it's great. It's great for your career and for the experience. So yeah, I think it's it's really great. What are your expectations for, for Tel Aviv, actually? Because I think you will get into promotion internationally, talking, and you will get some rehearsals and everything. How are you approaching the whole experience now? What would you be doing? Well, first of all, we're uh, like parallel with uh, this is like we start our European tour now. Where we have planned to uh, go to a lot of places and to perform our songs, talk with fans, with uh, people, with uh, journalists, and really trying to uh, spread uh, the spirit in the sky <laughs> uh, all over <laughs> Europe. And but also parallel, we, we are working on our show because. Uh, it's a new stage, it's a whole new setup, so we're actually starting from clean sheets mm -hmm. and building up the show. So it's, uh, it's going to be exciting times. Have you started preparing the whole thing? Can you give us a little hint about oh, it? Oh, no, no hints. We want it all to be a surprise. Yeah, we had our first meeting uh, yesterday and we just started talking about our new show in Tel Aviv. Okay. So we're gonna prepare it for two months now. But we okay. can we can promise you that will be like something Nordic. Yeah. It will represent yeah. the entire Norway. We want people to see that okay, this is something that comes from the north. Are we gonna see Northern Lights on stage? We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We don't want to see anything. We want <laughs> it to be a surprise. <laughs> Have you listened to any other songs competing this time, uh, this year at Eurovision from any other countries? Yes, yeah. I actually had this uh, YouTube marathon yesterday. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and I also have it on Spotify, yeah. and I listen to it, and I think it's really cool. Which one do you think could be like, from the ones that you have listened, do you have someone, something, someone from your mind? You can say oh, like... Oh yeah, I feel like... So uh, many good ones. Yeah. SOE is one of my favorites, Soli. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Italy and, and yesterday, France. Uh, yeah, I yesterday love France. Uh, Switzerland had a party song. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the but, Danish song yeah. is super cute, and she's super cute. We just met, and so France, yeah, we're gonna be friends. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I, I think it's it's your first time in it's Melody Grand Prix, yeah. but uh, you participated twice in the past, if I'm not wrong, and you participated last year as well with yeah. Stella. Okay. Uh, how do you find the experience uh, different from last time uh, compared to last year? How are you doing the things? Compared? It's much more fun to be in a band. And this yeah, is kind of like, really yeah, cool. so this is, uh, this is a dream come true, actually being together. The three of us, we're all working very well together. So, yeah. it's cool. so we're friends off stage as well, and that means a lot. Okay. Thank you, guys. It's been a pleasure to have you here in, in Stockholm. I hope you enjoy Melody Festival and Final. I hope uh, I'll see you soon. And uh, I would like if you can sing us a little bit part of your song for the camera as well. And a message to the viewers on ESCplus.com. Okay. I see a spirit in the sky I know the lights are dancing Hello, hello, hello That's all you get Yeah no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to our song uh, ESC Plus fans and friends so. Or Kano, okay. see ya